local governments or, or these politicians are looking at getting investment to the destination. No? And our answer is, is always the same. You don't need to, to bring direct investment to generate tourism to your, to your destination. What you need to spend money is in marketing and is in attracting commercially from a sales and marketing perspective the clients to the destination. This is much more simpler than bringing in direct investment in, in bricks and mortar. This is about uh, bringing in or incorporating a global brand. Not only for the destination, the destination has to brand itself by its own channels, but all the components of this destination, which are uh, hotels, the ones that drive the flow of tourism to destinations are hotels. These hotels need to be branded with strong brands. And where are the strong brands? In the top 10, uh, in the global top 10 of the world, mostly American, French, etc., Chinese groups. You need to have these brands in your hotels. And this is the, the way to very easily attract these clients or these, close, these customers that, that you didn't have before to your destination. We did this in a very uh, classic and historic destination in Spain, which is Avila. No one, no one, no one ever thought that we we were going to be able to bring in an international brand to this to this destination. We selected Best Western Premier for a very iconic historic building. We have taken a similar approach in Cáceres, where we are building a five-star Curio by Hilton hotel property. We are building a Curio by Hilton hotel property in San Sebastián. We brought in French uh, uh, giant Accor to Lugo, which is 100,000 population, and it completely changed the dynamics of the city in terms of uh, tourism. You don't need to bring massives, massive amounts of, of investment. You just need to sell the, the destination.